I have been to Rochester before. Uh, we did a show there last year. Um, I know you got um, a lot of really fine um, taverns in that town. I will tell you that much. Um, yeah, that that's kind of what we did after the show. But no, I had a lot of fun there last year, and I'm looking forward to uh, getting back over. I, and that's nice that, you know, you got the hospital right there. And, uh, you know, everyone's kind of going to the hospital, either working there or going there. And uh, you really get your options lined up for them. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. yeah so tell good. me a little bit more. Tell me a little bit more about yourself. You've had quite the career and now you're doing the stand up comedy throughout the country. Um, how's that been going? Yeah, it's it's been good. Yeah, I was in journalism for a while. I was working in uh, local news and and some other uh, kind of entertainment news things. And then I just started doing stand up uh, at night. I created a, a video off of one of my stand up bits. That video took off. And then, you know, fast forward a few years later, I've still just been making videos and, and doing stand up. And it's it's really been a lot of fun. Uh, we put out a special that was kind of like all about the Midwest, you know, um, and uh, called the Midwest Goodbye. And and now this next tour is sort of all about like my family and kind of stories from the Midwest and not necessarily directly about the Midwest, but there's a lot of Midwest painting the show, that's for sure. Yeah, and uh, you are such a favorite. That's interesting. So I didn't know you did stand up first and then you made that video because I, I just know you from all your videos. That's what I saw first. So I just assumed you yeah. were doing videos and it kind of came from that. But you were doing stand up before that. Yeah, I was doing stand up out in at the time I was doing red carpet reporting in Los Angeles. I don't even know if you could call it reporting because I was not doing any research at all. Um, but, you know, I thought about doing research, so that's the important part, but really I just couldn't, I, I just, it wasn't for me, that kind of thing. And I, yeah, I started doing stand up, and then I developed this bit based off my time in local news. And that's really kind of the bit that initially took off. Yeah. So what station were you at? Because I've seen, I saw that a long time ago. You won an Emmy, a regional Emmy with your TV station. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, That was KDAF in Dallas. Okay, in Dallas. So where'd you grow up? I grew up in the uh, suburbs of Milwaukee and spent a lot of time also in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. That's where my grandparents are, for, are from. And then, you know, we would go up north every year. So uh, like way up north up by the UP. So I think kind of getting that hodgepodge, I was really kind of a big stretch of Wisconsin. So you kind of get really familiar with a lot of different kinds of folks in Wisconsin. And, uh, and then you start to, you know, when you're thinking of comedy bits, you start to imitate them. Most notably my grandpa, Bob, that's where a lot of my bit came from. So yeah. I just kind of really, yeah, I listened to him and just kind of take the things he said and, and then just kept saying them and people liked it. So. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have what was your first big break? What um, was the first clip or video that really went viral? So I did these videos called If Jack Dawson was actually from Wisconsin, where I took like the Titanic movie clips. And then instead of Jack Dawson, because he's from Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, he says that in the video or in the movie. But instead of him sounding like him, I would just be like, you know, I would give him a very odd oh, cheese squeeze. Oh, my gosh. I tell you what, kind of like a very Wisconsin accent. Are you of the Boston Dawson's? No, the Chippewa Falls Dawson's, actually. Oh, yes. And that was the first thing to take off. And then after that, the man to walk minute videos took off. And so um, that was that was it. And then um, I started doing sketches after that and just have been kind of going from there, you know. So you are now, is this your second year of touring big time, having a full tour schedule for your standup? Um, I've probably, I've toured since 2017. Oh, okay. Um, but, but, but I've, um, this is kind of, this is probably the second major tour where I've gone like around the country, I would say, yeah. We're about to take hey, off, Kevin? I gotta let you go. Kevin, okay. can you hear me? me I can hear you. Excuse me, sorry, I'm just on a phone call. This Kevin? Is, this is Gleeky. Oh, you'll be fine, don't worry about it. <sighs> are you hot? No, I'm actually kind of cold. You are? No. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now I'm colder. Oh my God, my feet are so itchy. You ever had athlete's foot? <sighs> Excuse me, sir, could you please stow your belongings? We're about to take off. Fine, can I get a glass of water? Beverage service will actually be in about 20 minutes. I know you legally have to get me a glass of water. No ice, please. Do you mind if I 
take this armrest here? We are actually supposed to share this. You know what? I got to compromise. Why don't we just lose this all together and then we can kind of spread out a lot of it. Okay, I think we can split the difference here a little bit. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have pretty bad anxiety. <laughs> Dick 